The question of what constitutes a protective immune response and what constitutes immunopathology and SARS-CoV-2 is really a central one for understanding both disease pathogenesis and identifying targets uh, for immunomodulatory therapies or other potential therapies. The lung localized immune response to SARS-CoV-2 appears to be distinct from the lung immune response to a more known virus such as influenza. So there appear to be differences in the innate immune response, so that early immune response, there appears to be either delayed or dysregulated production of type 1 interferon, the production of other pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as IL-6, appears to be elevated. And in terms of the adaptive immune response, and specifically the recruitment and activation of T cells into the lung, there's much less known about that. We don't know yet if the immunopathology and the severe illness derives from the over-exuberant production of cytokines, for example, in the lung, or is immunopathology due to the cellular infiltrate that comes into the lung, be it neutrophils, there's a lot of neutrophils that come into the lung, monocytes or other innate cells, or is it due to the activation and lung recruitment of T lymphocytes, which can also, while they're protective, can also cause tissue damage and immunopathology by direct killing of virally infected cells and also the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. We are obtaining um, lung and airway washes from patients with SARS-CoV-2 who are intubated uh, due to severe illness and acute respiratory distress syndrome. And so we are looking at those questions to see whether we can identify whether there are certain changes in the lung, in the types of immune cells that are infiltrating the lung that might correlate with disease severity.